So hello, I wanted to take you for a little ride with me, which I did today. So this is me on my 250 watt pedelec bike and I decided to go and visit my mother, my wife and our kids already went there by car and I'm about to join them there now. Uh, global climate change definitely is working. Normally we should have uh, 20 to 30 centimeters of snow where I live at this time of year but as you can see there is very little snow but the roads are quite icy so here is a very icy turn I'm not pedaling much, just rolling through the turn not to fall over. And uh, the weather was nice. It was uh, a sunny day, even though you can't see the sun much, it barely rises above the horizon. We have daylight for, I think, five hours or so. Uh, in the northern of Finland the sun even doesn't rise above the horizon at all this time of year but we do have a bit of daylight uh, in my city we have a good network of cycle roads I'm on one of those now uh, they are also meant for pedestrians many times so it's a nice nice day so there are people out for Sunday walk so I have to slow down a bit not to frighten them too much but on the flats I'm doing around 30 kilometers per hour with ease please remember I'm not in a good shape uh, but the electric motor really assists a lot and here is a moderate uphill starting and I'm going 25 kilometers per hour up this hill again doing it quite easily you can hear the motor noise I'm recording this with a camera my daughter got from Santa Claus it's a action camera attached to the handlebar and I think most of the noise you hear it's actually somehow traveling through the, the fork through the frame all the way up to the handlebar because the camera was in a waterproof case and would not record my speech or anything like that so the motor is actually not as loud as you might think watching this video but it's in a way nice because you hear when the motor is on and when it's not this is an uphill again it's a little bit bumpy so sometimes I have to stand up because I don't have suspension on my bike but I remember going up this hill around 20 kilometers per hour so makes me rather fast. The distance to my mother from our house is five and a half kilometers give or take and I think it took me about 60 minutes to get there and from our place to her place it's mostly uphill so I think it's not too bad I'm reaching the, the top of the hill and begin going down. It turned out this part was quite slippery. I think water flows from either side onto the pavement so I decided to 
get off the paved part and for a better grip. But there was this other person, so I had to get back back there and pass that person safely. I've noticed it's a good idea not to pedal in slippery turns as if the motor turns on there it might make you fall over. So in slippery conditions if you are on pedal assist 5 you have to be careful when to pedal and when not to or the other option is to turn the assist level down a little bit. On levels 2 to 3 it's quite safe to pedal even if it's even if you're turning and it's a little bit slippery. I had to do a bit of zigzagging here to get to the right cycle road. This is the last bit of cycle road left before leaving the city. My mother lives sort of outside the city a little bit so We are going out to the countryside. Again on the flats, I'm doing 27, 28, 29, 30 kilometers per hour, something like that. And on moderate uphills, it's somewhere around 20 kilometers per hour. Again, a sort of slippery turn, so I'm just rolling and making sure I keep my balance. This is actually the part when I was slowest on the whole, whole trip. This uphill slowed me down. I did somewhere around 13 kilometers per hour for a little while and then I got better speed soon. You can perhaps hear the motor RPM slowly getting higher and higher as I gain more speed. If I had two cameras it would be interesting to, do it, to have the other camera film the LCD panel and then do an overlay have that show somewhere in the corner perhaps but right now I only have access to one camera we really can't boast much here with a uh, fantastic scenery uh, we mostly have spruce and pine trees in our forests and in winter the sun barely barely shines even if there are no clouds on the sky today so this is how it looks like over here but it was a nice day for this time of year we did a nice walk with the dogs after I reached my destination. So now I have left the, the cycle road and I'm just cycling where the cars are driving to. Luckily there were not much traffic today. Very peaceful trip. I had my trailer also with me so I think there was something like 120 kilos or 125 kilos of load on the bike altogether. I did some uh, grocery shopping on my way home then and actually did some mountain biking with the trailer in the forest 
I took another route home and went uh, through the forest back home instead. And it went surprisingly well with the trailer. Now I'm standing, I decided I will stand up and to get some extra exercise on the bigger uphills. So that's why there was a little bit of horizontal movement there. Probably back sitting now again and I would guess I'm doing some 17-18 kilometers per hour this uphill. Now I'm slowing down again, probably down to 14 kilometers per hour. But this is actually, there's only two more uphills to go and then I'm almost there. A small downhill there before going to the second to last uphill, standing up again. You can hear the motor hum, it's assisting me now on level 5, around 550 watts. And uh, according to the LCD panel, I actually ended up consuming 25% of the battery on this short trip. But that's probably because I used assist level 5 all the time and also it was mostly uphill. So I got probably close to 500 watts of assist on average. Now it's flat or slightly downhill and soon there will be a nice nice downhill but now when it's slippery I couldn't go too fast. I tried to keep around 30 kilometers per hour even going down as it was quite icy. Felt safer that way. Now I'm just rolling. You can see here the motor is not running. Far away you will see the last uphill on this little trip. Now the downhill is actually quite steep, even if it doesn't show on the camera. It's a nice wide. The lens makes a really wide, wide picture. But now it, you hear the motor starts again, and I'm going uphill. Let's see if I'm standing up here at all. Yeah, no, no, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm probably standing now. Just a few hundred meters left to go after this uphill, a short flat section and then I turn right to the road where my mother's house is. Now we're going on a flat part and 
speed is again up to 30 kilometers per hour. Now I'm just rolling, slowing down, and soon about to turn, turn right. So on to an even smaller road. So there you can see some of the trip statistics. And that's the speed and elevation curves. The dark blue curve is the speed and the gray is elevation. And that's my mother's house there. I'm just taking a little shortcut over the lawn and I'm there. Thank you for joining me for this trip.